This is a video that's going to show how to use VR chat to join in for my VR birthday party on Sunday. And you can do this with VR, but you can also just do this on a PC without VR. So to be clear, you do not need VR to use this. It can be played on a PC as long as it has Windows. Unfortunately, it doesn't work with Mac, but it does work on most Windows computers. So to start off with, what you're going to do is you're going to download VR chat from Steam. You can look it up on Steam and download it for free and make sure to launch it in non VR mode. So if you're not using VR, it'll give you a little pop up that says, do you want to launch it using VR or non VR? Make sure you click non VR. Next, you're going to open it up and make an account. It should prompt you the first time you log in uh, to sorry, first time you open it up to log in. Uh, if you want, you can make an account on the VR chat website before you log in. That will prevent you from getting any extra letters. If you uh, log in using Steam, sometimes it adds on a couple extra letters, and you'll see an example of what I mean by that later. So to avoid that, you can make an account on the VR chat website by looking it up on Google and then logging in with your email and password into the application. So once you're in, you should load into a room that looks similar to this. It might look a little bit different, but you can see here it tells you what the controls are. The basic controls are use WASD to move, like in most games. You use your mouse to move around, click to select things, and you can also click to pick up things like this right here. You hold to move it. If you let go, it leaves it. It also gives me an option to throw it. Um, and that's the controls there. The other control that's important is to mute and unmute yourself. In the bottom left hand corner, you can see there's a little red microphone. That means I'm currently muted in the game. To unmute myself, I will press V on the keyboard. And you can see that now it is lit up with a white microphone to say that I'm talking. And it turns gray when I stop talking. And then I press V again to mute myself in the game. Uh, if you prefer to use push to talk or toggling when it comes to turning on and off your voice, you can press the escape button like that, and it'll bring up this kind of basic menu. And you go to along the bottom here and click on the settings menu. And once you click on settings, these are the basic settings. You're going to want to come up to the top right corner and click on go to the main menu for more options. This will give you a whole bunch more options for your settings. And you're going to start by clicking on the audio and voice up here and looking under microphone and you can change your microphone behavior from toggle to push to talk, always on, always off and back to toggle. So you can switch it that way if you prefer. Next thing that you're going to want to do is you can press escape to exit that menu. Uh, you're going to want to add me as a friend and that's because we're going to be setting up private lobbies. So you're going to have to be a friend with me so that I can invite you into them and it'll just make it easier for me to bring everyone along. So to add me as a friend, you press the escape button again. You're going to click on the social button under the quick links right here. And you're going to come up to user search, which is at the top. Now you're going to type in my username, which is Andrew Cooper 69 with a capital A and C and click submit. It's going to come up with two options. This one, although this cow is super cute, uh, is not me. Uh, you'll see that I am the one where it says Andrew Cooper 69. The one that has extra letters here, Andrew Cooper 69 9D0A is not me. That's my old account. I don't use it anymore. I can't seem to delete it. It's just there. Uh, it's a cute picture, but that's not me. So you're going to click on this one right here. It may have a different profile picture depending on what avatar I'm using, but uh, you'll click on here and you should see an option down here that says add to friends and that will ping me with a friend request. Next, once you have me as a friend, you are going to want to add an avatar for yourself. So to do that, we are actually going to start the night off by giving you a, a room where you can select an avatar. But if you want to come into it with one, you can press escape, go to avatars, which is right over here under quick links. And you can click on uh, fallbacks, uh, others, uh, legacy gives you some options as well. Public ones gives you some options you can select from those. Once you find one that you want, you can click it and press change into avatar to change into it. You can also favorite ones that you like as well. So you can save up to 50. I think it's less depending on what, how long you had your account, uh, but you can save a whole bunch of them as favorites. 
the other thing that you can do is if you want to do this ahead of time, you can go to the website Ready Player Me. You can look it up on Google and you can connect your account to VRChat to make your own avatar. So that is what I did here. You can see I have a whole bunch that kind of look like me here that I've um, uploaded from Ready Player Me. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes to upload once you've made the avatar and it takes about 10 minutes to make one. Uh, it is a kind of limited in like body types and clothing, but you can usually get the face pretty close. So that's why this, uh, this avatar looks a lot like me. So you can see if you walk over to the mirror, the mirrors are usually off by default. Uh, you can see that looks quite a lot like me. Um, so this is my avatar right here. Uh, so once you've selected an avatar, you're going to want to join into the room. And again, if you don't have an avatar ahead of time, I will give you uh, an opportunity to pick one. There are also some over here if you wanted to. You want to be a burger cat, you just come over here and click it. Now you're a burger cat. That's, that's how it works. So in order to join a room, I will be putting portals down. So once you're in the room, you'll be able to move around with us quite easily. But in order to get into it initially, you're going to press escape. You're going to go to the social tab and you're going to go to your online friends. You should see me now that I've accepted your friend request under online friends. Currently I have none online, so I'm just gonna click offline. So say we click on Bondo's profile right here, looking great. At the bottom here, you'll see actions. If someone is online, it gives you an option to request invite. So you'll click that and you'll uh, send me a request so that I can invite you to the room. So again, we have to be friends for this to work. So make sure that you add me, Andrew Cooper 69 as a friend in order to do that. Now, once you get the invite, so you request an invite, I'm going to send it. You're going to need to accept it yourself. So you're going to press escape again. Down here, you'll see there's a couple extra buttons as well. You're going to click on notifications, which is this little bell. And you'll click on the invites tab and you'll accept the invite there. Ignore the fact that I have 74 friend requests. I'm going to have to probably go through these before the weekend. Uh, I guess I'm just that popular. I have no idea how that worked out. Uh, last thing is, if you have any issues, you can press the escape button and press respawn. If there's any issues in the world or any issues, issues with your avatar, it'll respawn you back at the beginning and it should get rid of any of your issues that way. So again, if you want an avatar, you click on here, change into avatar, and make sure that you have me as a friend. Once again, that is, uh, my profile is right here. Andrew Cooper 69, no additional letters. That's me, just the best kind of guy. And that is all you really need to know for this VR chat event. If you need any more help, I will be in Discord to help out people. Um, just make sure to exit the Discord when you're not asking for help so that I don't have like multiple people talking in different ears. Um, other than that, I'm looking forward to the VR chat birthday party. This is the second year we're doing it. And thank you very much, Bruno, for setting that up. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, if you have any questions, just feel free to send me a message on Discord or something like that. I'll see you out there.